Uh, who the Navond people? This is Mr. Critic, and you're watching my Let's Replay of Panzer General. So the Grand Campaign Part 43, Moscow 42, Part 3, Axis Turn 5. All these numbers, you know, I get so confused. Yeah, yeah, wink, wink to God this bullshit, don't you see? Since this. Uh, Today's hello was in Dutch. Well, at least I tried, you know, man. <laughs> okay, um, where were we? So, Axis turn 5, we did a lot so far, despite some of the mistake I've made, mistakes I've made. Uh, but now the weather is overcast uh, for tomorrow, uh, says overcast, but it could also snow or rain or, you know, everything. Casualties, as you can see so far. And, of course, air map. And ground map. So, uh, with the exception of the weather, we are doing quite well. Now, let us start from the north. Like I said, I have studied the battlefield and uh, it's time we move these units closer. So, you know, they will be able to cross this Volga River Hex after taking over the city of Regio and continue, you know, towards Kimri and ultimately to the city of Takovo, which is also our last victory objective. What? Uh, okay, Inf. No problem. Well, we cannot reach it with a tank. Says 0 2, so we'll need one of our tactical bombers think you will do. Remember, it's overcast, so... The results are, well, about half uh, as good as in good weather. Okay, now we finish off this inf. One tank closer and the other one. And now we focus on the defenses around the city of Rizhov. Um, yeah. Well, now scouting is uh, more difficult, of course, since now our fighters and ordinary bombers have only a spotting of one, and this. Um, Fighter bomber usually has spotting of five, now, now only two. So we are kind of limited, but the good thing is we have plenty of airplanes. So we'll do some scouting and attacking. When it is possible to do it at the same time, it's perfect. Uh, nobody in the city of Kalinin. We see yet another Katyusha. Okay, so guess we could now tag this inf and park over the city of Kalinin. Getting ready for the next turn. And yes, I know we are low on ammo, but if the weather stays overcast for one more turn, you know, and there is an a unit in the city of Kalinin, well, you know, there is no, you know, absolutely correct call uh, in this situation. But with our level bomber we can attack the bridge engineers, soften them up a little bit. Since our ground units will reach them in uh, well in three turns, or maybe in two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, in two, in two turns actually. The most forward ones. Okay, what to do with the Katyushas? We have to get rid of them most definitely. Who do we use? Well, 
it's a given that we have to destroy this tank or at least prevent it from getting back to full strength so okay <coughs> so you do it <coughs> Excellent. Um, what to do with you? You can... I don't know. Uh, we sh definitely should bump um, more imps. Especially those highly entrenched. Excellent again. You focus on this one. Since Katyusha's are least of our problems, you know. Least think so. Okay, and now we'll also do some strafing. <coughs> This Katyusha. <coughs> also, this anti tank gun. Or maybe. Hmm. Huh. I'm trying to decide whether or not to send tanks forward or make a detour with with at least one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Perhaps first uh, we scout a little bit on this line to see what actually awaits us. So here we go. <coughs> okay, nothing special guarding the city of Obninsk. And also no support for this poor fellow in Mozaisk. So, okay, our level bomber can now advance on this bridge, engineers. <coughs> and now we see all but this hex here, so our tiger will finish off this inf and then advance. And just to avoid getting rugged defenses, you know, it will advance carefully. Okay. So, now we can be pretty sure that nobody is, well, with the exception of this pocket of resistance here, nobody is really guarding anything until the city of Mozaisk, unless of course there are like four or five elite tanks here, but I doubt it. So, um, so yeah. Um, we'll strafe the other Katyusha as well. Okay. <coughs> and now one of our Tiger ones will finish off this Katyusha. Tiger one will destroy this inf and probably park here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why? 
Am I doing this exactly well uh, because I want our uh, bridge engineers to reach Katyusha? Or maybe I'm not doing this correctly, I'm not sure. Excellent. Only a fuel of four, and if we go if we go here, a fuel of three. So here. No, screw it. Advance. Okay. And like I said, here we'll go for the Katyusha finish it off. And since we already have bridge engineers in the area, even if we don't shell, I mean, if even if we don't stray for attack, this anti-tank gun, it's a light one and bridge engineers will be able to take care of it with no problem at all. <coughs> Um, perhaps now we should protect some of our most forward units. Well, this Duca is. Level bombers do not need protection. Um, this guy does, however, so we'll see. So we can start working on this inf. And um, also this one. <coughs> yeah, nothing because of the bad weather. So I'm guessing this is it for our Luftwaffe in the northern half, yes. So now only ground units. We'll continue with their advance. As you can see, our Tigers are now very low on fuel, but it was expected, so... Okay. Mm. Let me just check something. If we move here, one, two, three, four, five, six... No, we'll advance with these bridge engineers in the north. And... I think sending um, one bridge engineer and one tiger across here um, will be enough. Of course, we will be supported by some auxiliaries as well. So, this is it. Here in the center, do we need more bridge engineers or do we send them also north? Yeah, let's have another one. Here we also advance. And now we are in a position to attack this imps, but perhaps um, we'll just give our tanks, you know, some um, fuel. So they are they are ready for the next turn. Did I miss something here? Nobody in range for our elite Stukas. So we could bring them closer to the airfield or just as far east as possible. But in this case I think I would like to move ground units first to see if we come across more targets. So, okay, now our Recon Recon, no, maybe tanks first, yeah. I 
don't want you know our recon to run into something dangerous since it only has a strength of six remaining and don't want to lose it okay okay we have we have another scout plane but I feel comfortable now about sending our recon here okay now we have more targets <coughs> can we reach them not with this to Stukas I think so okay we'll fly them here to get the more fuel and ammo you can advance and somebody will have to attack this inf who will it be uh, perhaps actually our inexperienced stuka yeah not in range okay but you can attack right or maybe no maybe first some more scouting um, what is hiding inside the city of Kaluga mm -hmm. spotting of two hey the shitty weather okay so maybe okay we scout here also good and we have yet another scout okay this is how we'll do it okay uh, you can move all the way to here excellent there is an air defense here I'm almost certain Okay, you fighter, what do you do? Did I actually? I forgot to attack this fellow. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, uh, doesn't really matter. Do we now have a target? Yes, now we do. Okay, so you will attack this anti tank gun. Very good, and now two of our infantries will get into action. You first. Anti tank has retreated. Now we finish it off with our Panzer 4D, and we have yet another non victory objective. Okay, now we shell the bridge engineers. <coughs> and again. And this should work, but if it doesn't we will not be able to advance as quickly as possible with our artillery so we'll play it safely and attack with our inf shit but at least it is out of the city now uh, okay we take over destroy the bridge engineers yeah 
even though this time it would be safe to shell the unit, but again I was dumb. However, now if anybody is hiding around the city of Mitsensk, we have one artillery immediately present to start working on the enemy. Okay, Tiger across the river. Oh, now we can actually check if there is somebody here. No, the city is empty. Okay, advance. Uh, more units, yep. And, you know, how oh, this is called uh, a bottleneck or something. Uh, I'm not sure. But as you can see, we have no way to send all of our units across the river. Perhaps yeah, it would be smarter to give more fuel to this tiger, but again I'm not very smart at all the time, or even most of the time. Okay, now we will shell, uh, I mean strafe the same, also protect our uh, fighter bomber. Okay. Nobody home, but yeah, we've seen this already. Uh, we also need to protect this fighter bomber, so... And also this tactical bomber after we... Do we have enough fighters for this job? <coughs> yeah, we do. Okay, so... So you protect... The fighter bomber. this inf ah. shitty weather uh. damn it will be out soon hmm didn't really think this through I guess uh, yeah You know what? Let us rely on Stukas with five stars of experience to be able to hold their own against Soviet fighters. But this three units we have to protect, well especially this two, so you now fly here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have one more fighter which we will use to mm, protect this tactical bomber. And with this Stuka, we'll try to destroy uh, this T70. guess it's not such a bad idea to actually give fuel to our tanks since don't want to send them against highly entrenched enemy units when you know they are basically still highly entrenched and you get a lead so we also give it fuel and ammo yeah mm, weather Casualties. Yeah, now I've been showing this too often. I'm sorry. Uh, let us give the enemy its turn. See what happens. Still overcast. Excellent. So 
So now we'll save. Moscow 0, 42 minus 0, 0, I mean Moscow 42 minus 0, 0, 6. Uh, oh, another air unit newly purchased. Tactical bomber, okay. But no, it can. This is our airfield. No, it's not. Oh, stupid me. Just because our air units are <laughs> above it. Okay, um, I'll study the battlefield. Uh, be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. So, I had carefully studied the battlefield, and yeah, two interesting things that I've noticed. Oops, sorry. First, uh, the inf that was under our stuka disappeared. And since the movement of the inf is 3, it can only be in this hex. Unless, of course, it flew away, but... Yeah, just kidding. And also one thing I was wondering, why the hell one tactical bomber and right here? So, I'm wondering if there are no... Um, there are maybe more airplanes south of this tactical bomber and they arrived from the east which would make sense but you know I will not focus on scouting even if there is a fighter protecting this tactical bomber um, don't think will suffer any damage or for perhaps some minor damage but like I said first we need to find this inf and even before we find this inf of course um, ground map, air map and weather so tomorrow snowing still dry but yeah so here we are sometimes the forecast is not correct but usually when it is shitty it is correct so we'll see what happens uh, but like I said let us first find this inf we have to spot it in order to attack it and I'm guessing this Panzer 3J can do the job yeah as I thought now we'll attack it be gone please excellent now we also deal with this anti-tank gun Again. Very nice, and we take over the city, the, the victory objective of Rizhov, and advance with the rest of our units. What to do with this inf? Should we destroy it with our tank or something else? Hmm. Something else, I think, since. Um, I just want to give our tanks now fuel and ammo and everything, you know, especially fuel. So, maybe you can do the honors. So we damage this inf. And destroy it on the next turn. So, like I said, elite where applicable <laughs> and you get fuel we'll wait with the fuel for this tank if I feel you know like committing a suicide and mm, deal with this bridge engineers with tank without fuel you know so okay now for the more easy part we'll level bomb the bridge engineers and fly south where our level bombers will be needed next Providing it doesn't snow, of course, but and it most likely will. But you know, we have to keep on moving. We have to keep on moving. Do -do 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 -do. We'll also scout in the process. So here we go. suppressed nice 
Yeah, now we see all of the defenses around the city of Kaluga. Very nice, very good. And also we will uh, attack bridge engineers with our elite tactical bombers. Starting with this fellow here. Says 03. Let us see. Even better. Let me check something. Entrenchment of of three and suppression of two. Uh, I think we can risk it. Says zero four. I would very much like to take over the city of Mosaisk. So this is why I'm taking this risk. Let us hope it will work. Okay. Come on. Yes, wonderful. And like I said, we take over the city and most likely also destroy the bridge engineers. So even if the weather now turns for the nasty, we are not that far away from Moscow. Too bad that we actually have to reach the city of Tekovo. And again, those of you who use um, air transports, yeah, it's a smart idea. Uh, it's just not necessary for me, but it is, it is a good idea actually, I have to admit it. Uh, I used to play without uh, you know, air transports, but in such cases, in such scenarios, yeah, it's good. Either to have an info or even better paratroopers, but it, it is it is good, yeah. Okay, what can you reach? You can reach this inf after we strafe it. And now we also have an excellent opportunity to scout. After we strafe this inf, we can scout all the way to north to see if somebody is actually guarding this uh, tactical bomber. Yeah, why miss this opportunity? It's a good one. So, strafe. Okay, safe is here since tank uh, Tiger 1 has spotting of 2. Nobody? Really? Okay, one more. Ah, you see, a fighter and another tactical bomber. What happens if we attack? As you can see, even <laughs> escorted by this MiG here, it says we will just destroy um, uh, this tactical bomber and not suffer casualties. But of course, um, since we can, we'll play it safely. So, first we will attack with this fighter mm -hmm. uh, keep on blocking it if we don't destroy it but we did destroy it so now we also um, deal with this tactical bomber again if we do not destroy it then it will be blocked <coughs> and again we were successful what to do with you fellow I guess I guess we could since don't think we have more targets for our tactical bombers. Okay, first we will attack the bridge, um, not the bridge engineers, I mean this inf. You know, actually, yesterday I think this was the news, uh, somebody sent a package full of shit to our president's office, you know our country <laughs> and not I'm not talking about you know that good shit that you can smoke but dump you know 
is this you know considered a biological attack <laughs> yeah probably the reaction to the t to the point you know um, to the fact that the well, economy is sti still not doing very well in our country but um, it's a little bit extreme to send shit to your country's president <laughs> think it is extreme i don't know and it wasn't me trust me guys uh, these are not my methods <laughs> Okay, now let us destroy this tactical bomber and fly east and scout. Okay. Where can we park? Here. Breach engineers, excellent. So we can attack them and we are protected by our fighter. We have enough fuel to return, yeah. Exactly. So what did you think about the final episode of Game of Thrones? <laughs> Bron needs some bad pussy. <laughs> I think this was the most stupid uh, thing I ever heard on TV. I mean, um, well not the, stu the, the most stupid, but uh, on TV because you hear a lot of stupid things but I don't know Game of Thrones like I like this series and then this girl says to him you need some bad pussy bad pussy what is a bad pussy I don't know never seen a bad pussy in my life <laughs> okay so one more target for our elite tactical bombers. Let us see what happens. Ouch! Uh, and of course our tanks cannot follow up with the attack because well this one could come closer but why you know we are in no rush these bridge engineers will come closer and um, here it says zero three and two zero do we dare to attack this inf and do we gain anything by attacking it that's maybe a greater question and concern. I don't think we gain anything, so we might as well park here, prepare for the next turn. Yeah, and auxiliary inf, and yet another one. <coughs> Oops, something strange happened to the computer, it froze for a second. Yeah. So this is his for it for the northern half. Let me just put my sig out. Okay. Okay. Now we'll strafe the imps here. And um, do we want to protect someone? Well, we could fly here. Not so much for the protection, but you know to prevent. Uh, the units from reinforcing too much, so strafe, fly here. This is our last fighter without five stars of experience, but we are in no hurry um, to get there, even with four stars. Uh, well, actually, even with two stars, Focke Wolves are unstoppable on the Eastern Front, but you know. Okay, and now since we have started working on started working on this inf, let us attack it again with yet another tactical bomber and then we'll attack with our Tiger 1 
excellent and I think yeah now we can go for the attack come on <coughs> Yeah, this was some bad pussy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more target. Ooh, entrenchment of eight. Seriously? And then six, and you four. I see. So perhaps this fellow with an entrenchment of eight, we will attack with our. Uh, with our bridge engineers just checking something can we then come closer with our tiger one no if we place our bridge engineers here then our tiger one cannot reach this inf damn it so let us do it the other way around uh huh uh huh i see so tactical bomber tactical bomber yeah yuruki will have to do then we'll have an entrenchment of five i i, I don't know i don't know uh, hmm yeah but we have to attack with somebody or something, so I don't think we have much choice. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Says zero one. Let us hope it actually happens. It did. Good. So, trenchment of five, one star of experience. It should work. Come on. Ah, shit. But we have fired first. And force the enemy to retreat. Lovely. Now we go for this inf. You know why I, I was preferring to place the bridge engineers here so they will be. They would be ready to attack uh, the enemy bridge engineers, but we have more, so perhaps it's not really necessary. What we will do, however, is we will now um, take this inf and fly over the bridge engineers to prepare for the next turn. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. If it actually doesn't snow, but you know. Okay, now our auxiliaries will have to also do something since our tigers are out of range. So, you, my dear fellow, attack. Ah, shit. See, only two stars of experience, ragged defense, and... Not firing first. Not even at the same time. Still, we've managed to destroy the unit, which... Also counts for something. Okay. Uh, what to do with these two Katyushas? I think we'll have to rely a little bit on our auxiliaries. Yes. So, you attack this one and our fighter will attack this one. And then we'll see. Mm -hmm. 
example lovely so fighter now okay and with some luck now we will destroy this katyush and take over the airfield One suppressed. <clears throat> beautiful, really beautiful. And yeah, it's possible we will be attacked then by bridge engineers, but if we use our recon, then of course it could be destroyed. Bridge engineers in a transport will not be destroyed. Wonderful. Did we save? You know. Cave. <laughs> okay, we get fuel. Yeah, that's one thing that is not that great about tiger. Uh, tigers in general, actually. Uh, yeah, both ones and twos. They are always low on fuel. You know. Um, <coughs> And this was also, of course, the real problem during World War II. Excellent machines, but, you know, always thirsty. Uh, thirsty, you know, always want wanted more fuel. So now, okay, we'll bomb this inf. And park near the airfield. Now I think, hmm, should we take this anti-tank gun? Yeah, not a bad idea. Now of course we have to take over uh, this non-victory objective of Matsensk. Otherwise, we are exposing our rookie tactical bomber to possible dangers. Uh, oh. Yeah, or maybe, no, we are not. We'll attack with our fighter, strafe the inf and fly south. And the only unit we will not be protecting is, uh, well, we will not be protecting all of our auxiliary, um, or maybe we will, perhaps I'm just talking stupid now. Okay, uh, attack and then we'll also fly south for the scouting purposes. Yeah, I thought there was another inf here. So, um, who do we keep our pressure on? I think, I think the first line of defense. So, uh, two scouts, one here. Another one here. <coughs> and this fighter will fly here and after strafing this inf, on the next turn we'll return it to the airfield I think, especially if it will be snowing since we'll get it back to full strength. And now as we see this inf we can shell this anti-tank gun and bring our artillery closer how pleasant 
close, I think here is far enough. Uh huh. And we can forget about taking, uh, well, bringing our inf, uh, this inf here, since Tiger One cannot effectively reach an attack. So, here we go. Push this unit out. Oh, damn it. So we'll have to use our Tiger 1. And now we take over the non-victory objective. And now I will save and take a little pause because I just need it. Moscow 42 minus 006. Uh, be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Uh, so. Let us just move the rest of our units. Too bad our artillery is, well, well, at least one is out of ammo. <coughs> but we have plenty of time and a good thing about snow is that well, it doesn't really affect the supply, which is strange, but is how it is. Did not design this game. If I did, it would be more challenging. Challenging. <laughs> okay, you get a lead. We have so much prestige, you know. Why not? So we can scout without fear of being destroyed. Yeah, snowing tomorrow. Let us see what happens. And turn. Hmm. Excellent. You know what? I'll do another turn. Kind of, you know, made up uh, my mind. If it if it, <laughs> it starts snowing, then no more for today, since it is like 10 p.m. But now, okay, I will take a little pause because now, like I said, it's close to 10 p.m. and I have to make some phone calls before people go to sleep. But one more turn. Uh, I'll be right back. Yo, I'm back and here we are for the last turn of this video. Again, I have studied the battlefield. This is the air map. This is the ground map. As you can see, we are basically done with uh, the ground units. Well, up to one half of the map. Now we'll face, of course, the fort of Tula. And then it it's only Moscow, I believe, that will be heavily fortified. Um, so, yeah. Where should we start? I think this time from the south. And yeah, by the way, uh, weather for tomorrow now for sure snowing dry, right? Mm. If you believe the weather forecast. So... Uh, first, I was thinking about scouting to see, uh, you know, all the defenses in and around the city of Tula. But we have to be careful if the enemy has purchased new air units. We don't want to fly directly into them. So here we go. Looks safe enough. So. If we fly here, we see almost everything, so we'll actually fly here so as not to consume too much. F no, one hex, so as not to consume too much fuel. So, okay. now we see the artillery, the air defense and the bridge engineers. So we'll attack the air defense first. See what happens. Level bomb it. Uh, if we run out of uh, memory, computer memory, 
then I apologize in advance um, you know still am of four I see but you know I really wanted to make one more turn I know this will be a long video but some of you guys call it and I like it <laughs> beer and popcorn night with night with mr. critic uh, so flattering uh, thank you really Whoa! This will now get us close to five stars of experience. Yes, exactly. This was a huge result. Even in a good weather, it would be so. M of three. Now, what I will do now is not really advisable. But since we have plenty of air units, I just wanted to, you know, dry bleed this air defense dry so here we go yeah only minor damage and some damage to the artillery as well uh, these three imps we will also attack just let me find the units to do it you can go here since now we are sure that there are no enemy fighters in the area so we are quite safe okay more tactical bombers um, Entrenchment of 8, entrenchment of 6, perhaps we should fly north. Yeah, we should. We'll fly north. Nice. And we'll also attack this inf on a river hex since it is good for target practice, no other reason. Okay, yeah, bad weather, you know, means also that we are not gaining as much experience as we could for our Stukas and one turn means a lot because I was too dumb you know, to purchase them on the first turn so my bad in a way but also the weather's bad pun intended okay now we'll um, we'll strafe this inf here And this one here and then we'll park on the airfield and get back to full strength still the entrenchment uh, yo I'm back and it's exactly what happened uh, we ran out of memory but now I cleared like <laughs> I don't know a little less than two gig of no, memory, computer memory, so we are good to continue. So, where were we? Uh, yeah, in the south, I think, yeah. So, looking for more units to attack this inf. Uh, so, I'm guessing we should try with our scouts, since we are low on everything else you didn't work oh yeah and also we have to attack this inf
Hmm. How come we see this? Uh, well, we see it. That's good. Okay. Uh, so now for some shelling. <coughs> And we move closer, so on the next turn we'll be able to shell this imp as well. <coughs> and I'm thinking... No, I don't dare to take over this non-victory objective, since our transport only has two stars of experience. But I do feel like attacking this imp, since now it only has an entrenchment of four. And we have two imps to do the job, so... Three, four, really? This one has three stars of experience, so perhaps... Yeah, this artillery is out of ammo. So perhaps you should try. One, four. Come on. Damn it. The enemy has fired first, but... We are still alive and kicking. Another attack. Now two five. Excellent. Our enemy is dead. And now we, of course... Well, it's not dead, but it will be. Good. More fuel for our tiger. Other units will just advance. And since you still have one ammo remaining, you can come closer. Just to be on a safe side with this artillery in a soft transport. So, you and you. And you. Well, basically everybody. Dance now! Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can send you north. And the rest of you go east. Spotting of this fellow is one. But since this artillery only has one more ammo and if we place our infantry in a soft transport here it could be attacked by three infantry so we will not risk it they are uh, this uh, these are pioneers and uh, oh what the hell let us risk it these are pioneers after all so yeah I know uh, doesn't mean much when when they're in a transport, but you know I want them ready to deal with this uh, in on the next turn, especially since most likely it will be snowing. So yeah, I know a lot of you told me, well some of you at least stop worrying about auxiliaries. I know guys, you know. Uh, I just feel bad about losing units um, not proud of it it's kind of an obsession you know what I mean but okay uh, so now you will park here no not yet not yet mr. critic easy easy fellow first we'll advance so this tiger one and another one another one one and yet another one and now we will uh, destroy this elf we can use our auxiliary for it for the job yeah come on Lovely. 
I'm just checking what we can reach with the rest of our units. Mm hmm. I see. I see. So, yeah, we can use our fighter to protect this too. Rookie tactical bombers. The strength of the bridge engineers is still 12, so we'll attack and then fly here. Yeah, I think this is the best thing to do. Come on. Holy guacamole. Didn't really work. Okay, but we have at least one more elite tactical bomber. Suddenly everybody has a lot of... Well, not everybody, but some of our tactical bombers have a lot of... Um, <coughs> A lot of ammo. Very nice. Minor damage again. <coughs> But now we'll destroy this bridge, engineers, and go northeast. And I tank gun. Okay. Who will take over uh, the victory objective of Kaluga? Uh, I'm guessing this bridge engineers. Okay. And you will advance here, but will not attack, since this is a highly entrenched light anti-tank, definitely, uh, light anti-tank gun. Still for our auxiliaries, more than enough, you know, uh, in the danger department. Okay. Now we use our Reckon. Yeah, I'll stick to Reckon. Even though now I know it's Recon, but it's Reckon. Recon sounds a lot like a younger brother of Brandon Stark, so... <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Advance. And you advance as well. So we are definitely closing in on Moscow. And this one more turn that we have received, you know, without snow. And I'm not talking about John Snow right now. It's a blessing, really. Since... Um, since... Uh, well, now we are really, really close to the end of this story. How much ammo do you have? Only one. Okay, so we'll attack and then fly over this anti-tank gun. want to attack again it's not necessary really so instead of attacking we will just fly near this airfield to get more fuel and ammo and then of course we'll concentrate on attacking the fort of Tula Let us deal with the bridge engineers. Okay. 
get into transport, but advance carefully. You know why. You see why. There is an imp still alive. Okay, we take over the city of Obninsk. And also advance with our tigers. Do we have anything in the air department that can allow us to... Maybe not destroy this unit, but weaken it enough so we can deal with it with our bridge engineers in uh, transport. I'm thinking yes. <coughs> uh, hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking yes. But think both of our Stukas that are still available need to go to the airfield. Well, here is another one, but also has to go to the airfield. Okay, forget about Stukas for a while. First we'll destroy this inf <coughs> and advance east. You get fuel and ammo. Okay, this tank, even though I don't think it's necessary, since there are no major obstacles, uh, you know, here north of the Volga River, but just in case we'll bring one tiger across the Volga. The rest will be done by our bridge engineers and, of course, the auxiliary units. <coughs> so you, well, you can fly here for more fuel and ammo. Just to be on a safe side. And here in the north, well, too bad we do not already own this airfield. <coughs> I'm really sorry. Um, so, we'll bomb the bridge engineers. An excellent result, and we'll fly southwest. And we have yet another Stuka available. I know, we are low on everything, I know. <coughs> but now the bridge engineers are destroyed and I'm counting on our units to take over this airfield on the next turn. However, since we do not hold uh, I mean, since we do not have uh, ammo for this Stuka, we will keep at least one fighter close by. So I'm guessing uh, it will be you. You, on the other hand, will fly south and do some more scouting. What do we see? More bridge engineers and also the defenders of Moscow. Plus, if there is one infantry in the forts, well, here will be another one, here yet another one, and another one, and also here. So, uh, this is how it works in Panzer General. This fighter has an ammo of three. This one an ammo of two, so okay, you will now strafe this inf. And I think we'll be able to destroy it with our transports from hell. No, actually it didn't work. Wonderful.
So what to do with the rest of our air units? Uh, you can park here. So on the next turn when we take over the airfield, uh, this tactical bomber will of course get elite replacements, I mean elite over strength and you know what I mean. Now we'll strafe the inf. Yeah, I'm, you know, thinking a lot about what will happen in the future, but most likely the snow, the snowing will start, so all the plans with Luftwaffe will be limited to reinforcing, refueling, you know, resupplying and, of course, scouting. This is what you do with your Luftwaffe when the weather is bad. The last unit to move and since the bridge engineers only have fuel of 9 we'll give them fuel and ammo. As you can see that our move improves the situation considerably. So no we don't have to save. Uh, weather's uh, you see, I see uh, snowing tomorrow, still remaining dry, the ground, I mean. Uh, prestige, air map, ground map, and of course casualties. Yeah, I cannot help myself. Uh, so this is only for Moscow 42. As you can see, we have destroyed a lot of units. Okay, now we give the enemy its turn, see what happens, then we finish this video. Yeah, he went for the fighter, it was expected, but more than one destroyed. <laughs> I wanted to say more than one destroyed will be bad luck and he destroyed five. Take a look at the bonus, he received almost half of a star so again we got screwed excellent well actually I got you just you're just watching this so ah shit I hate such bad luck but at least now it's snowing we have time to retire all of our air units uh, that need you know more over strength power or any kind of replacements uh, back to the airfield yeah so, ah, let us save. Mm. Moscow 42 minus 008. Uh, what else to say actually? Well, nothing really. We are almost there. Moscow is, will be in our reach in about well, we have to give fuel to this guy, so in three turns we'll be in Moscow, that's my prediction, in three turns. Then uh, two more and we'll take over Takeovo. So we have plenty of time for a major victory and of course we will not go for a major victory, we'll go for the prolonged campaign in 1943. So Kharkov and Kursk and then Moscow 43 and then we go to Washington. So what else to say? Well, nothing. So thank you for watching this. All the best from Mr. Critic and bye bye.